I believe that we have a problem in Sweden, and uh, that is a problem of under enforcement of competition law. And I'm aware that this might not sound like a very interesting problem, but uh, let me tell you why I think it's important. And let me also tell you about a new bill that has been presented by the Swedish government, a bill that actually would take a few steps towards solving this under enforcement problem. So like most Western countries, Sweden has a free market economy, an economy that depends on competition. Competition is necessary because it's what actually allows the free market to create the benefits that we've come to expect, such as lower prices, uh, better products, and overall a more efficient resource allocation. If a free market doesn't have competition, then the free market will lead to a redistribution of wealth towards the firm that firms that already has have the most market power. And those firms then can end up exploiting us as consumers and as citizens. And here is where competition law comes into the picture. Competition law protects the competitive process and thereby also the functioning of the free market by prohibiting companies from restricting or distorting competition. And I would say that competition law is perhaps the most important legal tool that we have to ensure that the free market works for us as citizens and not only in the benefit of the most powerful companies. That is also why I think it's deeply concerning that during the last few years, competition law has barely been enforced at all in Sweden. We have competition laws in the books, of course, but those laws are not effective unless they are regularly and vigorously enforced. So why is competition law barely ever enforced in Sweden? Well, there are many reasons for that. One of them has to do with the court system. The Swedish court system for competition cases was revamped in 2016, and since that, it has proved extremely difficult for claimants in competition cases to meet the court's evidentiary standards. Remarkably, not once since the court reform has the court actively allowed competition law to be implemented in Sweden. But there is also another likely reason behind the weak enforcement of competition law in Sweden, and that has to do with the way in which competition law is enforced. So competition law in Sweden is enforced by the Swedish Competition Authority. If you believe that uh, companies have entered into a cartel or that your supplier is abusing a dominant position, then you'd be wise to start off by going to the Swedish Competition Authority to try to convince them to start an investigation. If they do start an investigation, if you manage to convince them to do that, then they have some pretty powerful tools that they can use in the investigation. However, if they do find an infringement, they cannot impose fines on the uh, uh, companies. Instead, they have to go to court to ask the court to impose fines. So this is actually pretty different to how it works in most other European countries. Most other European competition authorities can impose fines on their own without having to ask the court. And that includes also the European Commission. And then those decisions can be appealed in court, of course, but it doesn't start with a court filing. It starts with an authority decision. And I believe that this weak decision-making powers of the Swedish Competition Authority is one of the key reasons behind our weak enforcement of the competition law in Sweden. In light of all of this, I'm pretty pleased that the Swedish government this month presented a bill that would give the Swedish Competition Authority the right to impose fines without having to go to court. This is a bill that also introduces a number of other changes that are implemented as a consequence of the EU directive to strengthen the competition authorities around Europe, but this directive did not require Sweden to give the authority the right to decide on fines on its own. This was something the Swedish government decided to proceed with anyways. If the bill is adopted by Parliament, the new law would enter into force in February 2021. The proposal in the bill has received some pretty harsh criticism and much of this criticism I understand and somewhat agree with. Overall, I would summarize the most important criticism into the following three main questions. First, would this proposal even strengthen public enforcement of Swedish competition law? This is a question that has been raised in various forms by many different referral bodies, including the other week by the Swedish Council on Legislation. Some argue that this proposal could lead to a less efficient public enforcement, as competition cases after this proposal could take even longer than they do now, which would be problematic given that competition law court proceedings already today usually take many, many years. 
Second, does the Swedish Competition Authority deserve this responsibility given its track record of losing case after case in court? And I see where this line of argument comes from. If we look at the cases that the Swedish Competition Authority has brought in the past, the track record is quite depressing. In essentially every case, the court has rejected the authority's claim altogether or significantly reduced the level of fine requested by the authority. Third, should the Swedish Competition Authority really be both the prosecutor and the judge? Many have also raised that there may be problems associated with giving the Swedish Competition Authority a dual role, where it is not only the investigator and prosecutor as it is today, but also sort of the judge in deciding on fines. The Swedish Competition Authority has anticipated this criticism by adopting an internal report outlining how it intends to separate its investigating and deciding functions. Some believe that an internal report is not enough though and that this separation of different functions should be outlined somehow in the law itself for example. Some point to the separation of function within the European Commission as a suitable template. In addition to these broader questions, also some technical questions have been raised, for example regarding the procedure rules that should apply when appealing. Overall, even though I understand and agree with some of the criticism against this proposal, to me, the risks associated with a potential severe under-enforcement of competition law outweigh the potential downsides of this particular bill. I also believe that much of the criticism that has been directed towards the Swedish Competition Authority and against this proposal is a bit misplaced and actually should be directed towards the Swedish Patent and Market Court of Appeal and the all the conservative approach that it has taken in a series of competition cases. Ultimately, I believe that we need to reinvigorate Swedish competition law and I think that we need to strengthen the Swedish Competition Authority. I also think that we need to encourage companies to actually go to the authority with cases. This is not a perfect proposal, but I think it is the right step to take for Swedish citizens and Swedish consumers and I do hope that it will actually pass in Parliament. Thank you for watching this video.